Hey everyone, Scott here from Weekly Photo Tips. Today we're going to be doing a video tutorial on creating a customized Facebook timeline cover. There are lots of options out there for you. You can get a, a pre-made timeline cover for just about any and every occasion available. There are resources that you can go to online and make your cover right there and save it and upload it to your Facebook page. But today what we're going to do uh, is actually make our own from a template that's available. There's a whole bunch of free uh, Photoshop PSD templates that you can download and use uh, to create your own cover and that's exactly what we're going to do right now so as you see we have Photoshop open we have the template as it came right offline with all its different layers and sub layers and we've also got the images open that we're going to use so uh, the first thing I want to let you know is the keystrokes that I use may not necessarily be the keystrokes that you use. There's a thousand different ways to do the same thing in Photoshop. If you have a better keystroke or a better idea of doing it, we'd love to hear from you. It's info at weeklyphototips.com. So uh, we're going to select the image, Control A. We're going to copy it, Control C. We're going to go back to our template and we're going to go to the right image. Click on the pick right. We're going to do Control V that drops that image right where it needs to be. The problem is it's way bigger than it should be. And I use uh, Free Transform because it's the shortest of the keystrokes that I'm aware of at least. Control T, you see the bounding boxes of the image size. And by holding the Shift key and then grabbing the corner, I'm going to maintain the proper perspective of this image. Let go, let go of the Shift key drag it around, see how it fits. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Now the other thing we need to do is grab it because the Polaroid template is slightly skewed. We are going to skew our image to match it and we're going to hit enter to accept what we've done. Now one of the things if we don't like we can where it was placed we can use our arrow keys left and right, up and down, to adjust where the image is within that, that frame. So now we're going to work on the middle one. Go back, grab our middle image, Control C, Control A first to select, Control C to copy. Come back and pick middle, Control V, and the same problem, too big, Control T, and we're going to resize it to put it in its proper perspective. This template uh, in the middle is straight up so we're not going to have to change its angle and again I'm going to hit sh uh, enter and use the arrow keys and just tweak it to where I want it to be. Uh, now because of these first two images going in like this. I'm sure many of you couldn't stand the excitement of one more, so I took the liberty of preloading the third image. So this could be done as you see it. Uh, another option we have is to change the color on the background. We can double click here, grab an eyedropper, click on some of the different colors within the pictures and maybe find a more suitable background color. That one is not it. And um, choose a color that we like. Click OK. We could be done there as well. Or it came with a preloaded textured background which we can use. Or if we want to go really crazy, we can do our own background. Let's grab one more image. Control A, Control C. Back to here. Make sure the background color is selected. Control V. Now working with this, with these three images there is not the smartest of things. We're just going to deselect all three images. And again, we're going to do Control T, find the bounding boxes. We're going to resize this. To get it into place. Now this one I don't mind stretching just a little bit you'll not pick up on it drastically. 
And so there's the background. Hit enter. It's accepted. Now we can either, you see there's a cover, the, the save the date is on the barn. Let's move that up so it's a little bit more legible. There we go. Um, so we can do a couple of different things here. We can put the pumpkin right over that if we don't want to see the save the date on the barn. Select the folder for the middle for the pumpkin shot. And again, with that selected, we can move it around just a little bit using arrow keys. But some of you, it may bother you that you can see a little bit of the chalk because you know it's there. What we can do is change the drop shadow. Double click on that by putting the angle at midnight. What you're doing is saying that's the angle from which the sun is coming. So the shadow will be at 6 o'clock. And we can increase the size of the shadow. And maybe drop the density just a little bit. The opacity. Click OK. And that could be our finished image. Or if you want to use the date but you want a different image on there, that's an option as well. We're going to deselect that. Collapse it up. The left picture is another kissing picture. We could move it over and use it. They're kissing in the background as well. How about the right picture? With the folder selected, we can actually just move it over a little bit. Don't need to change the shadow at all if we don't want to. And that can be our finished timeline cover photo. Uh, the thing I would strongly suggest that you do uh, before you uh, flatten the image is file save as and save it with all the layers all the images everything in place so that at any time you can come back and change what you've done uh, change the image change the placement whatever uh, without having to recreate everything once you've saved it as a PSD flatten image yes discard those layers and there you are there is your finished product now we have talked about some resources as far as uh, pre-made templates, online resources for making templates, and free templates for Photoshop you can download and use yourself. If you come back to the blog, uh, we'll have a list and links to all those things. Uh, if you should come back to or see this video and it's six months down the road and this is no longer at the top of the the post, simply use the search page in the upper left hand corner of the blog, put in Facebook timeline cover and this post will come right up for you. All the resources and links will be there. Thanks so much for coming by. We'll see you next time. Be good to one another. Take care.